Hey guys, it's Jessica, and today we are gonna go through the best and worst of truly over 50 products that I have finished up. These are all products that are completely empty or they're mostly empty and I've got a few more uses, but I figured I would share them. So if you enjoy this style of video, definitely check out my last empties video I will link below, and I hope you'll subscribe and let's get into it. That whole beginning felt fake. What happened? Did I like black out, say the intro? Like, do you ever do things in life that you've done so many times that you literally feel like you black out do it and then you come back to life because that is exactly how that just felt. Yikes, I think I need to shake up my intros. I have so much stuff, you guys. I didn't actually count, but I'm pretty sure it's over 50. I'll count at the end most likely, but I have like two big containers worth. So I'm gonna try to go quickly. First thing is this Ulta Beauty Buttercream Cupcake 3-in-1 Smoothie. This is something that I uh, bought over a year ago, maybe two, I'm trying to remember. At the holidays, it smells amazing like vanilla. It creates a beautiful bubble bath. I didn't use it for like uh, a shower gel or a shampoo or anything like that, but it was great for the bubble bath. It smelled amazing. I don't think I need to buy it again, but I also wouldn't mind having it again. But I like to get more like uh, bubble baths that have more of like a scent to them that's going to relax me or help me sleep, those kinds of things versus this but they are enjoyable. I have a baby that eventually as she grows up, I'm sure she'll love things like this, so we'll see. Next, speaking of baths are, it, this is actually my favorite, okay, one of my favorite bath brands, Dr. Teal's, it's the Epsom salt. I've tried all of the Epsom salts, I love all of them. This is the one I repurchased the most though, it's the Soothe and Sleep with Lavender. Even my husband Tyler likes this, he doesn't get baths very often, but when he does, he loves using this, and I also have the Dr. Teal's Soothe and Sleep bubble bath. Next up, this was a sad one to finish up, the Briogeo Scalp Revival. If you've heard about this brand, probably from a bunch of us YouTubers, because we all love it, they also send us a lot of their stuff. That's why you hear about it. You know, I don't know how much they'd be mentioned if they weren't, because that's how they really got their name out there. This is just my opinion. However, now that their name is out there, their products are incredible. So I guess it worked out. But they're, they don't put a bunch of the gunk in their products like a lot of other shampoos and conditioners you can get do um obviously there are other brands that do the same thing this is just one that i use all the time and i really like it's their scalp revival micro exfoliating shampoo i thought i would hate this however this is what i grab when i want like a deep cleanse of my hair so i'll use this usually once a week and i'll pair it with a deep conditioner of some kind i love theirs although i i'm out of it i need to buy it again uh, but i highly recommend and again, my husband loves it too. It smells like peppermint. It kind of like wakes you up. Okay, this one I've given up on. And I'm really sad to say because it's good, but I'll explain why. This is the Shea Moisture Ground Coffee Scrub. I love scrubs. And I again, I do them like once, maybe twice a week, but typically once a week. And it just helps when you're like shaving your legs. It makes everything so smooth if you do it beforehand. Um, you can use a scrub if you self tan as well. I love the idea of a coffee scrub because, you know, there's caffeine in it. It says, oh, it can help kind of nourish your skin, kind of wake your skin up. I don't know how much truth there is to it, but I love the idea of it, and I love coffee. I'm drinking some right now. It's cold. And I love Shea Moisture. I've fallen in love with so many of the products, but this makes such a mess in my shower. I just can't do it. I've given up. I can't do it. So I might ask a sister if they want this because it's actually pretty full, and I just, I hated using it every time because the shower was a whole, it was a big mess. My hair is like ultra big today. I'm like <laughs> trying to keep it out of my face. Uh, okay, so next up, I finished up my favorite hairspray, the Bedhead Masterpiece. Uh, I don't know if it'll be on sale by the time this video is going up, but I know that a bunch of you guys tweeted at me that this was on sale. It's normally like around $20. It was on sale $6.99 each, and it was buy two, get one free, all at the same time. So. As far as I know, I'm gonna place the order today and buy three more of these. I love this. I'm trying out a new hairspray today and I don't like it at all. It's the Ghost, uh, it's the Verb Ghost hairspray. I love the Verb Ghost oil, not the hairspray. It smells awful, it's too crunchy. This stuff is the bomb and it smells good. Next up was one that I really, really like, but I don't think I'm gonna spend the money on again. It's the Kiehl's Creme Decor. Um, it's, there's like this much left, so I might try to get it out of there, but it's one of those that it's so insanely pricey. I got it half off on Hot Look, so if I ever were to buy it again, I'd do it on there. It's great at moisturizing the skin, but I feel like there are plenty of moisturizers out there that you can get for cheaper that do around the same thing. So um, I think I'm gonna look for a better drugstore one. I follow a few dermatologists here on YouTube, like Dr. Dre. By the way, if you saw my Dr. Dre joke in another video, I put up a picture of the rapper Dr. Dre as a joke. There's an actual dermatologist named Dr. Dre, D-R-A-Y on YouTube. That was the joke. People thought like, well, one person thought I was being mean to the dermatologist. I'm like, what? No, I watch her and I love her. It was just a joke because when I say Dr. Dre, I'm sure a lot of you guys are picturing 
like Dr. Dre and Eminem and all of them. Anyway, wow, it got taken way out of context. I'm like, geez, you guys calm down. Anyway, I follow her, so I might watch some of her videos on moisturizers that are really good from the drugstore and pick one out that way, because this is too pricey. Um, This I used up all the way mostly, and then it got kind of gross, so I stopped, but it's the Fresh Rose Deep Hydration Facial Toner. I really liked this. I actually don't have a toner right now on my skincare regime, so I'm missing this. Um, I have an essence, but I view a toner a little bit differently. I liked this because it was very hydrating. It doesn't feel like it when you're, you know, putting it on your hands and putting it on your skin or on a cotton round, but it is. And I feel like it made a difference in my skin. And I feel like now that I don't have it, I'm like, crap, I need it. It's been about probably a month since the last time I used this. So I really like it. It does get weird towards the end because there's these rose petals in it, but um, it just is what it is. I just... It was, I don't know. I just started getting grossed out by it, so I wanted to stop using it, but I could see myself buying that again. One that I have a few more uses of one side. Oh, this is a favorite of mine. It's the Mimi Box Nuni Brighten Up Radiance Dual Essence. It's basically supposed to be an essence that helps to lighten dark spots on your skin. Um, there's one that one side that's specifically for targeted areas and one that's just to generally brighten your skin. I just mix both because it has two different chambers and two different pumps. I use both. However, I somehow ran out of one more than the other uh, or faster than the other. I love this. I'm definitely going to repurchase it. It continues to be sold out randomly. I think it's still sold on Ulta. So I will buy this again because I noticed a difference in my skin. And again, I'm like missing it. <laughs> So this is one, I literally just had Tyler pop in to tell me what it was that he didn't like about this. It's the Axe Urban Messy Look Matte Gel. He likes using like pomades in his hair for a little bit of shape and style, but nothing shiny, nothing like that. And uh, he said that this broke out his forehead. He had like horrible breakouts right along his hairline. And when he stopped using this and switched back to the Crew Fiber Pomade, uh, he it went away. So he was like, I'm just gonna stop. He had used more than half of this up. Uh, when he finally stopped but yeah just fyi i have a few masks um i i don't save every mask i use i only save the ones i feel like there's something to be said about them whether it's really good or really bad uh first of all i posted on my instagram stories about this the sephora almond foot masks Ooh, if you suffer from drier feet in the winter time i know i do or really year round i guess but for some reason i have it more in the winter you'd think i'd have it more in the summer i don't know um this was better than I thought. So the way it works is it's like a sack you put your foot in. And I was like, well, do I just have to sit there? And I guess I can just like watch Netflix or something. Um, but you put it on your feet and then there's this stuff. There are these like sticky straps that go around your ankle that are a part of it that kind of hold it on. So I was actually standing and walking around in them. The outside of it is completely dry. So you're not going to be getting like serum -y gunk all over the place. It's really easy to use. I thought it would be really messy and it was not messy at all. So if that's what's been turning you off, I mean, maybe this is the first you've heard of it, but I really liked it. I already own a few more of these and I could see myself during like maybe a VIB sale at Sephora. I could see myself buying a few more of these. So First time using a foot mask, really liked it. These were really nice. I know that so many people swear by these. These were sent to me long ago. It's the Shiseido uh, Wrinkle Resist Pure Retinol Express Smoothing Eye Mask. I've gotten really into retinol eye creams right now. I'm obsessed with the Polish Choice one. I love it so much, but um, this, these were really nice. If you want just like a shot of retinol to the eyes, I feel like they, I use these at night. That way I can let, you know, once I've taken the little eye masks off, I can let the retinol and all the good stuff sink in overnight as well before, you know, during the day I'm usually putting SPF, then makeup on, etc. So I really liked these. They're really pricey though. So I feel like it would, if I found a really good deal on like a pack of them, I could see myself buying it because I really loved it. But again, it's like the price. But I really liked it. So this is kind of on my wish list, you know? I did not like this. I really like Pacifica and a lot of their products, but this is their Disobey Time Rose and Peptide Facial Masks. I love peptides. I feel like I'm drawn to things with peptides in them. But this was the driest mask I've ever put on my face. I literally, I squished it around in here. I'm like squeezing out. I'm like, there's nothing to squeeze out. It's so dry. I don't know if it, like I got a dud or what, but it, it was very odd. If you've tried this, was yours dry or maybe mine was a dud? Let me know. Drunk Elephant. I'm working on a review video. I'm still trying out a lot of their products before I do it, but I figure I'll share these. Um, this one's empty. This is the Bestie Jelly Cleanser. I liked it. I don't think any cleanser is worth this price. I totally will pay money for great eye creams and moisturizers and serums and things like that. But cleansers, 
you can get great ones for cheap, ones that aren't gonna inflame your skin, that aren't gonna dry your skin out. Again, the CeraVe Hydrating Cleanser is my favorite. It's at the drugstore. I will link it below. You get way more for way cheaper. So I liked it a lot. If I had another one, I would use it, but I just don't think you need to spend the money. We're double fist in here. This is gonna be a long video. I'm trying to go fast, but I'm like, am I going too fast? Um, this one, again, I have like two more uses of. I love this. this is like the third one I've gone through, the Origins Original Skin. I love the entire Original Skin line. I love their matte moisturizer. I think that is fantastic. What's the other one? There's something else in the line I like, and then I really like this, the Origins Original Skin Cleansing Makeup Removing Jelly, Jelly, not Jello. That would work uh, with willow herb. It's so gentle on my skin. It doesn't really have a fragrance at all. I feel like there's a light buttery fragrance, but I think I'm just insane. I don't think it's actually there, but it's so gentle. It feels great. It removes most of my skin, I, no makeup. I knew I was gonna say skin and I knew it was wrong and I said it anyway. I think it's great. Now, do I, I feel like there are many great cleansing balms out there, but I will say, that this one is nice that you get to squeeze it out. Most of the cleansing balms I like are in jars, like the cosmetics one, the Clinique Take the Day Off cleansing balm. I love those, but they're in jars, so I gotta dig my fingers in it. Is it that big of a deal? Not really. I go through them fast enough. It's It really isn't that big of a deal, but it is nice to squeeze this out, you know? It's, it's a lot more hygienic, and it's certainly very travel friendly, so I really like it. I will probably buy it again. I certainly, uh, go through them. <laughs> Another Drunk Elephant one, the Seafirma Day Serum. This is a sad, sad day. I have two of these. This one was sent to me and it was already bad when I opened it. It was very, very orange and I was watching a few people's videos on them and so many people were saying, if it is turned this color orange is probably okay, but if it's this dark, it maybe isn't. And this one is really, <laughs> like that's like gross dark. Um, so I was like, I don't think so. So I was like, you know what? Sorry, it's like dripping down my hand. I just don't think it's worth the risk. This is something that can be kind of potent. It's their C-Firma Day Serum. And I am using one that it's not completely clear. It's just like slightly off. And I'm like, I think that's okay. Um, and from what my research, it sounds like it is okay. It's kind of normal that some oxidization will happen. Is that a word? Um, but that's too far. So I'm like, that sucks. Like I didn't even get any use out of it. So I don't know. I don't know. And I'm like, I know that vitamin C products can be very unstable if they're not packaged right, but that packaging, as far as I know, it should be really good at preventing anything, you know, oxidization from happening, basically. So it's very odd, I don't know. I used up a travel size of my Bedhead Masterpiece. Again, wait till these are on sale because they're way overpriced for the small size. But if you're like me, I usually travel with only a carry-on, although now that we have a kid, everything has completely changed. But regardless, I usually do, and with hairspray for a week, I don't need more than this, so it works out really well. This is actually Tyler's Empty, the Alginist Power Recharging Night Crest Serum. This bad boy is so stupid expensive. It goes on sale sometimes at Ulta. I posted on Instagram about it being on sale and turns out like the sale was not going on anymore. I'm like, what? The ad made it sound like was, I guess I didn't look deeply into it. But I love this serum. Tyler loves this serum. It smells like Main Street USA because it smells like baked goods and like it's an instant thing for me. Like I smell baked goods, I think of Main Street USA and Disney. If you've been to Disney or you're a weirdo like me, you totally get what I mean. Um, actually, Alginist reached out to me like in a DM when I posted about it and mentioned that it smelled like Main Street USA. They were like, that's the first we're hearing of this. I'm like, please don't change it. It's amazing. Anyway, I freaking love this stuff so much. I need to get more. And now Tyler wants more. I'm like... <laughs> hand sanitizer gel from Grove Collaborative. I freaking, Grove Collaborative, so they sponsored the very first video I ever did with them. I freaking, it was a clean with me video. It was so much fun. I know so many of you guys were like, I've never watched one of these before. This was the most inspiring thing I've ever watched. And so you guys like got up and cleaned your whole house. I know that was the effect clean with me's had on me. The first time I ever watched one, I'm like, what is this? Why would I watch someone cleaning? If you've never seen it, you cannot judge until you watch one because you'll be like, Whoa. Like that's like, I watch Clean With Me's every single day when I'm like, I don't feel like cleaning the bathroom, but I really need to. I'll watch one and I'm like, let's go. And then you get up and you just wanna clean the house. It's the weirdest thing, you've gotta try it. Regardless, so Grove Collaborative sells natural cleaning products. No, this is not sponsored by them. They don't know I'm mentioning them. But I do have a referral link. If you are interested, you get a five piece gift set with a, like if you use my link. Of course, I get kicked back as well. If you don't wanna use my link, you don't have to. I'll put the regular link. But they sell natural cleaning products, it's amazing. Oh my gosh, I've discovered so many amazing products, but 
frankly, the thing I like the best about it is every time I place an order, because now I've already ordered, like since that video, I've already ordered like four more times. Um, I ordered like a disinfectant spray because I had a stomach bug and I didn't want anyone else in the house to have it, but it was more natural. Instead of like Lysol, I was like, anyway, the point of the story is they always, you always get free gifts like every time you order. So I always get like a free pack of sponges when I order and I'm like, it's just nice. It's nice. So long story short, this is their hand sanitizer in blood orange. I have a small size of this in my uh, purse, in my diaper bag as well. It is amazing. It smells amazing. It's not drying on your hands. It's incredible. We've already bought a few more of these. So I will link the website below, but I'll also link this product. Oh, we gave up on this one. The Biore baking soda cleansing scrub. Um, it's a cool idea. Uh, where you, it's like literally a powder. We had this in our shower and we were both trying to use it. It's a powder and you mix water with it and it kind of becomes a granulated foam, um, a foam that kind of has little granules in it. And I don't know, like I just don't really, it was almost too exfoliating for me. Now it's not, it's super finely milled. So it's not gonna be anything that's like tearing your skin and creating micro tears in your skin. I really don't think it's that uh, big of a deal. I just wasn't a fan of using it. I didn't enjoy using it and Tyler really didn't either and so finally we both were like I was cleaning out our uh, shower actually for that clean with me video and I looked at this and I was like Tyler do you want to keep this in here? He's like not really. I'm like me either. Okay another drunk elephant. I used it up um, but not before it broke. It's the Virgin Marula Luxury Facial Oil. Guys I used to use this on my own. I actually broke it so I've just been like pouring it into my hands. I love this stuff. I give one to my mom. I need to ask her if she's been using it. But the way I use this, if you've ever been like, how do you use this? Like, it sounds great. It's super expensive. I use this with my nighttime moisturizer. I literally take a few drops of this. I get the moisturizer in my hand. It's the Drunk Elephant Proteiny. And I take a few drops of this and I mix it together and press it into my skin. And oh my gosh, my skin is so moisturized when I'm going to bed. I feel like when I wake up in the morning, I'm like, I literally feel like I don't need any like moisturizer on. It's insane, you guys. And I feel like the moisturizer alone is great and I love it and I'm going to repurchase it, the Proteiny. But adding this to it completely like ramps it up. So I'm telling you, if you already own them or even if you just have a moisturizer you love and you own this or you're thinking about buying it, it is amazing mixed with moisturizer, especially before bed. So just, just recommend, because I used to do it in different layers and I was like, this isn't working. And I read, um, I don't know if it was a Drunk Elephant blog or something, but it was from Drunk Elephant and they were basically saying, that's a great way to use that, mix it with your moisturizer. And I was like, that is genius. The May Love Glow Maker Serum, there was like this much left before it went bad. And I was like, no, this is my favorite serum to use during the day. I've used it at night as well, but this, this is one of those serums that I, I enjoy using in the morning. I'll put it on and then I'll actually, typically I'll spray my face with some kind of toner. When this, when I had this, I would put it on my face, let it sink in for a few minutes. Then I'd go in with moisturizer, SPF primer, all that kind of stuff. But I love this. I feel like it's pretty affordable for a really good antioxidant serum. It's getting your skin ready for the day in a way better way than any primer does on its own. You know what I mean? So I'm trying to be better about doing better stuff for my skin in the morning because I feel like if I wake up and I go straight in with moisturizer, primer, and just, you know, without thinking about the skincare underneath it, I feel like my skin suffers. So this is one of those things that kind of pushed me into that and I really, really like it. So I did a video with them long ago and I, I need to buy this. This went bad before I can use it up. It's the Nukes uh, Reb de Meal. It's it just smells off. This stuff is amazing. I did see another brand. What brand is it? Maybe you guys can tell me. I want to buy it and try it and see if it's the same. Um, because Nukes is kind of hard to come by in the states. I mean, you can order it online, but it's not like quickly and easily readily available. That was a lot of words. But it, they're calling it like their butter mask for lips. Kiehl's maybe. Maybe it's Kiehl's. I want to try that and see if it's similar. But I love this stuff. It's a very thick almost uncomfortable lip balm. You'll know what I mean if you've ever used it. It's not like a really great to apply like the Laneige sleeping mask. That stuff feels like a dream. This is thicker, but I am telling you, if you put it on before bed, you wake up with baby butt lips in the morning. Don't we all want baby butts for lips? One container empty. We're moving on to the next. I hope you guys have some coffee or tea or water or whatever. This was another Tyler empty, the Bumble and Bumble Save the Day Daytime Protective Repair Fluid with Camellia Oil. Basically says you put it in your hair and you can let it air dry or you can blow dry. It's kind of like a, kind of like a protective cream for your hair. You know what I mean? He does when he's like going out, he'll blow dry his hair really quickly, just zap it with the blow dryer. Um, so this kind of helps protect his strands and things, strands. <laughs> just makes it sound like he's got like the longest locks, but you know what I mean? He really liked this and I, he was like, do you have anything else that's similar that I can use? And I'm like, I really don't, but this sounds really nice. And now I'm like, 
Kind of wish I had used it. Dang it. <laughs> this one I used up begrudgingly. It's the LMS Pro Collagen Cleansing Balm. It just, it's a great cleansing balm. It smells so pungent. It's so pungent. So um, again, I like the cleansing balm. I wish the scent wasn't there because it's like, it makes me ill. Oh, I loved this too. The Belief Moisturizing Eye Balm. Ah, oh, so wonderful. Now this was a lot lighter. So like I was telling you, I love my Polish Choice Retinol one. That one is a targeted, um, really strong, effective eye cream. So it's not only moisturizing, but it's like actually doing anti-aging. This I feel like was mostly just moisturizing, but I really liked it. But I don't think it's necessarily doing anti-aging things like retinol would do. You know what I mean? So I really liked it. I could totally see myself buying it again, especially if there's a good deal on it. But this I don't think is like the most potent eye cream. Does that make sense? But it's lovely, it is lovely. Used up toothpaste, Sensodyne Pro Enamel, Gentle Whitening. I used to use the Crest 3D White. Frankly, I love it. I just have sensitive teeth and I'm making the decision for myself to take better care of my enamel. And I know that this does that better than the Crest 3D White. So it's like the hardest thing when we go to Costco, Tyler buys this Crest 3D White and I'm like, cause it really makes your teeth whiter. I'm telling you it does. But I'm like buying my Crest or my Sensodyne Pro Enamel. I'm like, Jessica, you're making a good decision for your enamel. Your enamel will thank you. But I feel like my teeth aren't as white as they used to be with the Crest 3D White. So I'm like, <laughs> but I know my enamel, I'm not feeling, I used to feel horrible sensitivity just like when cold air would hit my teeth. I don't feel it anymore. I'm telling you, this stuff really is nice if you suffer from sensitivity. Oh, can a random candle empty. I don't save all my candles, but this one was worth saving. It's the Essential Elements Vanilla and Sandalwood. You guys, this one is like happy like college memories for me because my friend had this and I always like wanted it but I couldn't afford it. It's like $10. But I literally, I had like no money while living in Chicago. Uh, anyway, and I always was like so envious of it. You could literally, I bought this at CVS and I'm pretty sure that's where she bought it. It's so funny what you remember and what you like aspired to have. You know what I mean? And maybe you're still at that point. Like I feel like I look at things and I aspire to certain things. I aspire to have certain, but this was like a deep need back then and it was like a freaking $10 candle. Now I still think $10 is pricey for a candle. Don't get me wrong, I do. I'm waiting for sales, but regardless, I bought this, it was on sale at CVS for like, I wanna say like seven bucks or something and I was like, I am buying that candle. This smells amazing. It's such a warm, cozy scent, but it's not overpowering, but it's still, oh. I'm probably gonna buy this again and I might just like wait for a sale at CVS and just like stock up. I, I'm sure they sell this elsewhere, but I always see it at CVS. Well, this is another sad day. The beautiful blue beauty blender, the Sapphire one. It's my favorite beauty blender of the beauty blender brand. The blue one's my favorite. I'm telling you it's different. It's softer, it's cushier, but Pinocchio got to it. Cinema Secrets uh, makeup brush cleaner. I showed this in my how to clean makeup brushes video where I compared like cheap versions, expensive versions, shared my favorites. This is definitely one of my favorites. I've already repurchased this. It's kind of expensive for the big one, but it's so good you guys and it smells like a dream and it your brush is dry like that it's crazy and finished up actually i have another one almost empty the clear care uh, this is the best contact lens solution cleaner if you get makeup in your lenses you need this i'm telling you you do have to store them differently because if you like put this in your eye it's like hydrogen peroxide it will it is it will burn but you you put it in a certain contraption and it cleans overnight it's like bubbling and you're it's very different you can't put it in a regular i need to emphasize this you cannot put this in a regular contact lens thing because you'll put your lenses in there and you'll put them back in and it will burn it has to be in the thing that it comes with but it is incredible tyler got me out of this and it completely cleans my contact lenses every single night which is great because i always get Tons of makeup on it, so I love it. Uh, finished up the Gillette Venus Vanilla Shower and Shave Cream. I really like this stuff, but I have switched over to the, uh, I think it's Shave, no, Tree Hut uh, Moisturizing Shave Oil. I'll see if I can link it, because I know a lot of you guys have struggled to find it in store, so I'll see if I can find it online. I love that stuff. It's, it's easier to use, it's quicker to use. I get a closer shave. I'm totally on the shave oil train. I never even knew that was a train to be on, but I love it. So I still love this stuff, but I, I just like the other stuff better. That's all. Oh, there's my empty one, the Briogeo. This is the deep conditioning mask that I absolutely adore. It smells nice. Again, it doesn't have all the crap in it, but it really moisturizes your hair. I use it once a week when I use my like deeper shampoo. I love it. Again, Tyler loves this too. I need to just bite the bullet and buy it. Finished up the Tatcha water cream. Again, this is a very light, moisturizer very light lovely it comes with a cute little like spatula on top that you can pull out and get the cream out um i actually didn't use it much at the time but now that i'm mixing my moisturizer with that oil 
I kind of wish I had one on the lid like this for my Protini because, and I guess I could just go put this in there. And, but anyway, if you've seen the packaging for Protini, you'll know why you have to like get your finger off and then put it, it's a lot more work, but I wish I would have had this then. So I don't think I found a Tatcha product I really don't like. I actually ended up using the Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Mist that I used to not like because I would spray it all over my face and it was way too oily, but I've been using it, spraying it on my beauty blender and using that to tap in my concealer. Oh my gosh, like it makes a huge difference. I thought, no, I think it was Kylie Jenner that I saw do that. I'm like, yeah, okay. Like there's no way that makes a difference. It does. <laughs> it does. So I'm almost out of that one, but I know I already have a backup. So I guess what I'm saying is I found a lot of Tatcha products that I really like. They're just so pricey. I find it so hard to, in good conscience, recommend these expensive products to you guys because I'm like, they're so expensive. But sometimes if I can't find a better drugstore equivalent, I wanna recommend them. I thought this was lovely, but I don't think it's like the best moisturizer in the world. So it's not one that I feel like I need to repurchase. If I had another, I would totally use it. I would enjoy it, but I don't think you need to spend the money on this. I think Beliefs moisturizer is very, very similar, and I think it's cheaper. I Another old L'Oreal Beauty Blender that it's just time to go. It's I've had it for too long. Um, that's my favorite kind. I'm already on my second one of these, the Dermalogica Nightly Lip Treatment. This stuff is like an anti-aging lip treatment. You squirt it up into the metal portion and then I take it on my finger and you put it on your lips and you actually put it around your lips and it just sinks in. It's kind of like the consistency of Blistex if you've ever used original Blistex. Um, it's like that kind of a lightweight white cream but it blends right in and it just has all these anti-aging properties that I think is so great. You, I don't really think about my skin around my lips and my lips aging, but of course they do, right? And so I feel really good about using this and I feel like, again, it's one of those things that I use every other night because it's expensive. If I use it every night, I'd be flying through this. It's really expensive, but it's my favorite Dermalogica product I've ever discovered. Like I said, I'm already on my second tube of this and I will totally buy it again. I finished up the Garnier Skin Active Micellar Makeup Removing Towelettes. Um, Again, I don't really use cleansing wipes on my face. So uh, this is me reviewing this from a perspective of just wiping off swatches with it. It did okay. It certainly does not get all of the makeup off if it's a liquid lip or a waterproof liner. It took a lot more elbow grease to get it off of my hand. So I would have to assume that's even worse when you're trying to get it off your eyes so, or your lips. So keep that in mind. I think they're nice and gentle if you're just wiping off face makeup or um, maybe you're just wiping off your face after a workout at the gym. I think these would be great for that, but I don't think they're great for really removing stubborn makeup. One thing I just finished was this Clarisonic brush head. I, I just moved on to my next one, because these you do need to replace from time to time, and I probably waited too long. I don't use my Clarisonic every day. I really use it only when I feel like I've got a pile of makeup on my face. Maybe I was trying something new out or whatever. But if I'm just using my standard like Misha BB cream, I don't feel the need to pull this out and really get in there because my hands do a great job. I'm not suffering from tons of breakouts. So I don't feel like I need to mess with something that's already working, you know, but I do use it when I have tons of makeup on. So I have a use for it, but it's not an everyday use. Got a few makeup empties and actually literally all of these I have repurchased. That's kind of fun. Uh, the Makeup Revolution Renaissance Flick Liner is my new favorite liquid liner. Um, my other one that I also finished is my NYX Epic Ink. I love both of these. I use liquid liner a lot, especially just at the very end to add a little wing. Um, I don't have a wing today. Um, I'm kind of just moving on from wings. Like I feel like I use them for so long and I'll still do a mini wing from time to time, but I've done wings for so long and I, it's so much more work and I don't feel like I really need it with my eye shape. You know what I mean? I don't think it looks bad on my eye shape, but I just don't, I don't know. I guess what I'm saying is I'm tired of doing wings. I've done them for so many years and I'm like, I just, I'm moving on. I'm moving on to something different, playing with eyeliner in different ways. So I'll still use liquid liners and I'll still do wings from time to time, but you guys know what I'm saying. Move on, Jess. But I love this even more than the Nick NYX. I feel like the NYX, the more I've used it, I feel like it does bleed out a little bit more than I remembered it. Now, I don't know why that is. I don't know if it's because like maybe it's as it's getting older, it's starting to bleed out. Maybe they've changed the formula. Please don't tell me you've changed the formula. But I noticed with the Revolution one, it doesn't bleed out as much. And to me, it's a felt tip instead of a brush tip. And it just makes the wings so much easier, even if you're just doing a mini wing or maybe you're just tracing your uh, lash line. I'm telling you it's so much better, but I do feel like it dries out quicker than the NYX Epic Ink. Now, maybe that's why the NYX bleeds out more. It's just wetter, you know what I mean? 
Come on, isn't the packaging pretty? Don't you love when something is better than something and the packaging's prettier? That's a win. It's the worst when the packaging's pretty and it sucks. You're like, no! Uh, okay, another NYX liner, the Always Keeping It Tight. I like this stuff. It's not quite as creamy as my beloved Hourglass 1.5 millimeter liner. That stuff is a freaking dream, but I literally use one of those up in like three weeks. It's insane. I'm like, I've got, I keep buying them. And I'm like, I've got to stop. So I really wanted the NYX one to be good and it is good but it's just not quite as creamy, so it's not as easy to quickly tight line between your lashes with, um, but I do still like it. You know, I, I think I explained myself. The CoverGirl Ultra Fine Brow Pencil in Soft Brown, it's what I use today. This one is completely gone. I have gone through about three of these now. I already have my next one. It's already halfway gone. I have an idea. I've lost my little like cap, so I'm like carrying around with that. It's cap, it's capless. So I'm gonna put that over there. Oh, fell on the floor. But love this stuff. I've repurchased again and again. Again, I think for me, it's more that the shade matches me so well. The formula is fine. It's great. But again, you could get that from the NYX one. You, I mean, every brand sells a very similar pencil. So for me, it's more about the shade match than anything. The L'Oreal Lash Paradise, you guys know I love. It's what I'm wearing on my lashes today. Use this one up. I'm already on my next one. I just... It's so good. And you guys know I love my freaking Charlotte Tilbury Legendary Lashes Volume 2 mascara. It's so good, but that one is $32 and this one is under 10. So I'm like, <laughs> so I know that I'm eventually gonna rebuy the Charlotte Tilbury one, but I'm gonna have to wait till it's on sale because I can't do it. I just can't do it. Um, but this one, I have to rebuy like every two months, but I'm like, I don't care. I love it so much. I'll just keep buying it again and again and again. L'Oreal, you got me. All right, that's it, we did it. <laughs> I'm being overly dramatic. I'm so glad to be feeling slightly better for my stomach bug. Tonight, the day I'm filming this, uh, Tyler and I are going out for a birthday weekend celebration and I don't know what he has planned, but I know that we're going out. Tyler had me floating on clouds the other day because the look I did in my haul update video, he was like, you look really hot. I'm like, oh, my, 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 I do declare. It's just like that, it's amazing how a compliment can like raise you up to the clouds, like truly. <laughs> anyway, so I hope you enjoyed this video. I love doing these, they're just, fun. They're just fun. I know this was long. I tried to like go fast the first half and I was like, I can't do this. I want to tell you guys and be myself and it's hard to go fast and be myself. If you enjoyed, please give it a thumbs up. I hope you come say hi on my social media. It's jambeauty89 everywhere. Um, and I guess I'll let you go. All right. Love you. Bye.